U.S. Hafiday Guam, what's going on? It's Friday, time for Fit AF, and this morning the AF stands for a fighter. I'm here with Frank the Crank. He's coming off a victory. Uh, UFC Stockholm, you spent some time in Sweden. Uh, tell us how that was just a little bit. Um, well, first off, when we got to the hotel in Sweden, I'd never been to Sweden. Man, beautiful place. The sun was going down at 11 p.m., and the sun was rising at, like, 3 a.m., so we <laughs> was just all crazy, you know, man, but hospitality was great. People were amazing, and dude, history, man, of man, like Viking area, 15th century stuff, buildings, and the roads were just awesome. And man, the UFC, the MMA fans in Stockholm were great. Well, you know, Sweden's got their warriors. You you showed them what a you know Chamorro warrior is like. Congratulations, by the way, on your victory. We're all really proud of you. We're always proud of you when you represent. Now we're going to be going through a little bit of what he goes through uh, when he's prepping for a fight. So why don't you uh, tell us how that goes? I'll go ahead and hand the mic to you. Okay. All right. So since Julius is here, I'm going to try to work him out for you guys, and, and I'm not going to make him throw up. But uh, you know, I just turned 30. I just turned 30 this year, and now I need to stretch a little bit more. You know, you need to warm up a little bit more. I'm not, I'm not 18 anymore, you know, like these kids that are working out. And uh, what, um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, so the itinerary of what we're going to do is I'm going to show you like a little stretch, a little dynamic stretching uh, series that I do, especially before fights. So this is something that I do in the locker room just to kind of get me, get me ready and get me rocking and rolling. Then uh, we can do like a little drill series uh, of the fight breakdown of, of how I was able to break down Nick Hine um, in my last fight. And uh, just hopefully that um, Julius doesn't beat me up too much. And then, and then, and then we can maybe we can show some, uh, some women's self-defense uh, stuff. And um, yeah, maybe we can bring in another guest on, on the show. But yeah, let's, let's get straight to it. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. It's going to be a little bit hard to hold the mic and stretch out, so there we go. All right, so first, I like to, uh, we're, 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 we're just start stretching. Up, come up, down, come forward, other leg. Try to keep your spine straight, looking up, breathing. Okay, now we'll step back. It's a very just condensed version. We just kind of stretch our hammies. Thank you, Primo. Boo. And all right. Nice. Okay, go back. And so, yeah, so I learned these stretches from Steve Washiro. Man, he really helps me out. And then now we're going to kind of go sideways. We're going to do a squat. We're gonna push our elbows out slightly. Kind of try to keep it keeping our, our base. Nice breathing through these stretches. We're gonna grab our toes and then we're gonna shoot our hips up and then stretch up. Nice. Then we're turn around. Yeah, I know, right? And the grunt. The, uh, Julius is making these uh, 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 noises. Boom. Grab our toes, hips up, stretch, breathe into it. Nice, other way. So these are these are a lot of the, the dynamic stretching that Steve Oshiro has has me do, and uh, from here I just kind of like uh, man I take in and I make in my own hamstrings up. Really helps just warm up the body, you know. Open up, hips up, grab your toes up. Last one. Stretch down. So yeah, man, at at 30, I'm like, yo, I need to warm up now. It's crazy. Okay, so now back over here. Um, kind of like you're like you're stepping over something. We're gonna kind of bring our knees up to the side, and we're gonna step over. Yeah, like a hurdle. Yeah. Boom. Up. I like to kind of keep my elbows in just so that uh, just balance and core workout, like almost like you're in your fight position, you know. Boom. Now from here, we're going to go backwards and then step back. So up, around, step back as far as you can. Up, around, step back.
Oh. You know, the difference, they got more control on the left side. On the left side, yeah. See, so, so a lot of times, you know, like, uh, you know, when you're driving, you know, you're always holding the wheel with the right hand. So, you know, trying to keep that balance and making sure, making sure that you're stretching both sides, you know. Not only for, like, for fight or for athletics, but for, uh, like, longevity and for life, you know. Yeah, for sure. And then uh, this one is called the world's greatest stretch. Yeah, so we're going to do, like, a lunge, a big lunge forward with our left leg. But we're gonna kind of keep that right back leg straight. We're gonna put our hand down. We're gonna drop our elbow to our ankle. We're gonna get a nice stretch there. We're gonna reach across and rotate. And then we're gonna bring our hands up to the sky. Up. Then we're gonna bring our, our other hand down by the opposite side of the foot. Bring our heel, stretch. That's one. Yeah, that's a good one. Boom, hands down. Elbow down. Across. Hey Frank, I got a question. So in terms of breathing, are you are you just regular breathing in and out through your mouth or are you doing like yoga where it's exclusively like in and out through your nose and you're encouraging more, you know, flow through your lungs and your esophagus? Man, that's a, uh, personally, I need, I, uh, I just fill my lungs up with as much oxygen as I can. But I do need to do yoga because it's uh, like the, the art of breathing and the art of everything, you know, I need to add that into my game. So uh, Yoga is what I definitely need to start doing. But I just, I'm just trying to fill my lungs up and just making sure that I'm constantly breathing, never holding my breath. Okay. So it helps like when I'm talking, you know? So, so I have to, I have to con constantly breathe. Last one. Elbow. So like you can't, I don't know if you can see it right now on the camera, but yeah, like Julius and I, we're probably, we're getting like a, we're starting to break a sweat, yeah. you know? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, That's me. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna do the same thing. The uh, the world's second greatest stretch is okay. lunge, and then uh, uh, same side. We're gonna put our hands up and then we're gonna rotate. Rotate towards the knee. Rotate towards the knee. Yeah, there you go. Other way. Oh, last one. Maybe Julius gonna show me some stuff, man. I know, th dude. This guy back in the day. He's game. Huh? Game. Even now, dude. You guys are. Okay, we setting me up, man. You guys are gonna have me be get beat up by freaking Julius. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, you know, that was right as I was getting out of it. You were getting into it, so yeah. it was a lot of fun to watch that transition. No, for sure. And, and you know, like, uh, you know, I was like six, 16, 17 coming up in the game and, you know, always looking up to these guys. So uh, it was it was great, man. And the, the constant learning and, and, and the constant sharing is always uh, so dope. Yeah. And uh, now he gets to beat up on the guys he used to look up to. Say, there's so much love right now, but can we, can we get down to when know, you guys right, actually right, like... Right, okay. I want to see some throwdown. Okay. All right. So... Of course you do. Why don't you get in here with it? No, I know, right? So so we're, so we're good. Maybe we'll do some neck stretches. Man, yeah, for neck. So let's we'll just kind of do up and downs. Not even. Uh, so when we're stretching our necks, we don't want to go past uh, where it's kind of tight. Just right before it starts getting tight. So we're just we're just warming up those muscles. Up and down. Up and down. See. Uh, yeah, we're already breaking a good sweat. So we're the good thing about these stretches is that you're you're warming up at the same time. You know. Nice. Now we're gonna go. Shoulder to shoulder. Shante. Shante. Sashay. <laughs> the, key, the, key, the key part to, to these stretches is you have to have your hands on your hips like so. <laughs> nice. And then just go with big circles. Again, we don't want to strain our neck when we're doing this. We're not trying to full stretch. We're just kind of just warming up the muscles. Go the other way. A lot of people will ask, you know, are you doing this uh, this type of stretching with your neck correctly if it's popping or if you're cracking? Should you be actually going for that? Man, I'm not a doctor, but uh, I, I just know that, you know, going on, go, going through these, uh, like from, from all the instructors that I've, that I've learned, like just, you just got to get the, the, the muscles warm, the necks warm, and I think someone like a chiropractor would, would have a, like a way better answer, you it's know? It's more about getting loose. You're not giving yourself yeah. an adjustment. Yeah, getting loose and getting the blood flowing through all the places in your body so that when you're ready to hit the workout, you're, 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 you're full and you're ready, you know? You're not hitting it cold. A good metaphor would be like you, you're starting a car and you're letting it idle. That's kind of how our movements are. We're not, like you said, we're not straining it, right? We're just kind of exactly. We're warming up all the actual motor functions of the the joints and the the muscles. 
Perfect. Okay, so let's get to uh, let's get to this. Um, maybe just to the fight breakdown. Sure. Okay, so uh, Nick Hine, we didn't know if he was gonna come out lefty or uh, or he's gonna come out southpaw or orthodox. You know, he's gonna come out a lefty or a righty. Uh, so majority of his fights he came out lefty, but his last fight he came out as a righty. So we, we had different techniques and different different game plans, uh, like in the event that he did come out whichever one. So he came out as a lefty, as a southpaw. So we're like, oh okay. So the game plan for 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 uh, for Nick Hine was keep the jab. Keep the, first off the first the, the first game plan was to not brawl. You know, I was not gonna brawl with him because in my previous fight is like, dude, the Chamorro just comes out and the Islander just comes out and it's like, huh? Let's go, you know, like, so, so um, the, the team that I was working out with, uh, they were able to figure out, like, almost like, uh, like, like, like trigger words or trigger points to, like, to say so that I could get back into my game and to reset. So it was, it was uh, establishing the jab, you know, just get back to the jab, Frank, get back to the jab. Like, okay, okay, Whew. breathe, recover, don't get mad, you know, don't get angry, whatever. And then uh, the, the game plan was to constantly faint and constantly level change. So from here, from our fight, so can you stand uh, lefty? So from this position, you know, elbows in tight, slight bend in our knee, good solid position. So the, I always had to, to faint. A faint is kind of like a fake to see what my, my opponent was doing, right? And a level change. I just had to level change just like so, so that I could see uh, if he was gonna throw a counter or if he was gonna go for the takedown. And if the takedown was there, I was gonna go for the takedown, right? But also too, um, a feint or a level change also acts almost like a strike, almost like, an, like it's, it's my first set of my offense, right? So it was the jab, it was the right back leg body kick that we were gonna be throwing all day because I, uh, I, I was able to kick really hard with it during camp. And then um, right hand straight on the pipe, you know, because throughout my whole career through PXCs, man, it was through PXCs, it was it was my right hand all the time that was that was sleeping guys. So, so from here it was it was jab jab. As long as I knew I could touch his hand, I could kick him. You know what I mean? So I was jab jab level change, jab jab level change, jab jab level change, and then just like a rubber band or like a spring, as I came up, I just I was just throwing this back leg kick driving my shin straight into his body <laughs> just like so all right so we're here the drill that uh julius and i are gonna do is we're gonna we're just gonna j just touch touch level change touch touch level change touch touch level change as i'm coming up i'm gonna throw this back leg round kick boom, to the body I, of course keeping my hands up all right so let's do that okay cool um, so, uh, since you're an orthodox guy, since you're, you're right-handed, right? Lefty, but I stand orthodox. Ah. Yeah, so I have a strong jab and then I wind up the, the weaker hand. Say that part again? I'm, I'm lefty, but I stand orthodox so that my jab is strong. Or at least for me, it's like I have a strong jab and then I can wind up the weaker hand and go for that power hit. I've just always felt comfortable See? orthodox. See, always learning, you know? See, so that's something that I need to develop because I'm only orthodox, you know? And I, and I see guys that, that can fight both ways or sometimes, you're, you know, you're strong and like that jab is really just like a little flickering, but it's just like, bang, yeah. you know? So, right on, guys. Right on, Julius. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to start this drill. So, uh, could you stand up? Uh, okay, yeah. up? Okay, so from here. So, touch, 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 touch. Move around, hands up. Touch, touch, double change. Touch, touch, double change. Bang. And then you go. Touch. There. See, so that level change is going to have me guessing. I don't know what's coming. Bang. Touch, touch. See, so even though I know that, even though I know what, um, even though I know what Julius is doing, like because we're just both drilling, it still kind of just kind of freaks me out. So the level change and then the and setting up that body kick was the key to this victory, and uh, and it was so cool, and I was so happy that I was able to implement that. Right. So now, so it was a jab, level change, body kick, and then it was level change right hand in the event. So from here. 
Uh, just take, take a step back. So from here, when I was jabbing, jabbing, level change, jab, jab, level change, and I was throwing the body kick, what, what, what you would usually do is you would, yeah, exactly. Julius would drop that elbow, maybe come the hand, and then just block that body kick, so I'll just kick all arms, right? Bang. So as soon as I knew that, so uh, block the body kick, and pause, boom, pause. If you notice from here, this side is open. As, as soon as I start digging that shin to the body, this side's gonna be open, so it's gonna open up the jab, it's gonna open up the right hand, uh, which, Again, was the start of the, the, the beginning of the end for this fight was, was once I started landing the body kick, then I was able to land my boom, my one, two, that I've been able to stop guys, but you know, like especially coming up in the local circuit here on, here on Guam. So from here, so, was, so now the next drill is jab, jab, level change, jab, jab, level change, body kick. And then, oh no, so he's gonna block you with his elbow and then he's gonna come back up. And then it's jab, jab, level change, Pretend you're gonna throw the, the, the body kick and then come in with the right hand. So that's the, that's the drill. Jab, jab, level change. Jab, jab, level change, body kick. Jab, jab, level change, right hand. Good night, Julius. And it's not just the, the, the fainting aspect of it. He's literally been drilling my, my torso with his legs. So I'm already anticipating that pain. I've felt that pain. So when I see him setting up, my mind is instinctually going, hey, block that body because he's going to come with a kick. And that's where he's saying, he's like, as soon as he got me into that block, that kick, he already he's going to open up my chin for that shot. Yeah, 100%, 100% correct. And, and if he doesn't defend the body kick, I'm just gonna continue kicking the body, and then you know you can only take so much. So uh, yeah, so here's an, here's the next drill. So even though you, you know you're doing like a sequence of events that you trained on for years and years and years, is this also like chess where you're also trying to think like maybe two or three steps ahead of your opponent? You're always watching him, you're always reading him to see how he might already be trying to counter you. Oh man, 100 percent, and it's uh, and it's almost like like uh, like real real super fast speed chess. You know, kind of like the difference between uh, like college ball, like college football, and and and, uh, and the NFL. You know, you like the quarterback is throwing. You see the you see the receiver, and you're throwing it at the receiver. But in the NFL, you're throwing it to a target, and then the receiver has yeah, to go yeah. get there. So, it's kind of like that now, and I'm starting to realize that that that's that's the level that I have to be in in the UFC, and I have to put my mindset towards that in the. Uh, my approach to training him. Don't throw the ball to where he is, throw the ball to where he will be. Exactly, yeah. And and that and, and through the feints and through the jabs, I'm s i am I, I could kinda anticipate and see it and through practice and through drilling and through continuing to fighting. Man, I'm thirty years old and I still feel like an infant in the game, you know? So it's it, it and, and this is the reason why I love martial arts, I'm con constantly learning. Yeah. Right, okay, so let's try it out. So here. So jab, jab, level change, jab, jab, level change, body kick, boom. Okay, so I know he's blocking. Jab, jab, boom, bang, bang. And he goes. No change. Oh, I'm supposed to come with the right. Yeah. yeah. Ah, I said I'm not coming with that right. Come on, Julius. <laughs> Knock me out. Here we go, one more time. No, but 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 see, also too, um, um, how I started the, how I ended the fight was actually I level changed and I threw a one two. So we can even let's 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 do that combination then, okay? So, so boom boom level change, boom boom level change, kick, boom boom level change one boom. That was the beginning of the end. My turn. Yeah, yeah. Can can I try find my own drill? <laughs> <laughs> boom boom level change, boom boom level change. Yeah, so, uh, you know, Coach Arrow. Coach Arrow, he's been really helping the Spike boys here. And uh, you know, after when I came back and after he saw the fight, he was kind of like, hey man, we saw that jab, we saw the jab. And the jab doesn't have to be hard all the time, you know? And, and me, I always tend to throw it hard, although I'm like, ugh, ugh. But man, sometimes, it's, sometimes I can jab the hand, sometimes I can jab the shoulder, sometimes I have to, I can just jab the air just to cover his eyes. Man, every little thing and just trying to be smarter about the, about the, about the, the fight game is just gonna, just, 
you're gonna see results. That's one thing I learned when, when I was training MMA and I really got into boxing with Brad McCready, is that the jab is really, it's more than just a punch, it's really, it's a distraction tool, it's a setup tool. Uh, and then it can be that actual, that, uh, what do you call it, where you just pepper, you keep peppering, you exactly. keep peppering, frustration, it can frustrate your opponent. Exactly, and, and, uh, and, and the theme of this was just, man, let's put, mo just, it was just putting money in the bank. You know, we're just putting money in the bank. Okay, oh, that's one, I got one in. Oh, that's another one, I got one. Boom, I got one in, you know, and it was just money in the bank, money in the bank, even, or even like a faint, and I have him put his hands up. Oh, okay, I got him, that's money in the bank, money in the bank, and uh, uh, I'm starting to understand that it's not really the fight, it's, even though it's a fifth, only fifth, a short 15 minutes, it's not so much of a sprint, but really like a marathon within its own self and just really just building and building, just building blocks and building blocks. So it's cool, I'm still learning, man, yeah, man. and I'm still so fascinated by it. And uh, the fact that I, that I still love it, man, it's like, um, it's like, man, okay, I still got a couple more years in this yeah. game, you yeah. know? Yeah. You're that, you got that fire, it's still driving. Uh, you're really, you're, you're starting now to, to learn the, the, the um, beyond strategy, right? It's that next level of strategy, that cognitive ability, that chess game. Uh, you're learning more how to use the tools that you have, you know. Now you can take that power. Like you said, it's a marathon with explosions in between. Yes. I mean, it, it's beautiful to see that, how you're gaining that control. Yeah. And, yeah, see, and, and, and it's so cool talking to Julius, man, because, you know, you totally understand. And, and if anything, I'm, I'm taking a lot and I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning right now, you know, from, uh, uh, but yeah, it's, it's great. It's great. I love it. So why don't we, uh, why don't we get the uh, women's self-defense going on in here? Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's go. Take off your shoes, girl. Man, thanks for that sweat. Oh, brother, thank you so much, man. Oh, man, hey, what, when are you going to come and drill me, dude? I should, I should. Good drilling I, I will do that. Yeah, I promise sure. you, I'll come out and do that. Yeah, man, oh, yeah. good drills. Thank you, that felt good. Okay, here we go. Always ready, let's go. Okay, so women's self-defense. Um, I'm not going to have Sabina be throwing, like, spinning elbows and not and, and flying kicks at me. I'm just going to kind of go over uh, just a little awareness series that's going to help you just even... Just the thought and the awareness is going to help you so much, all right? Okay? okay. And, uh, hey, Julius, can I have you come in real quick and just uh, to, to, to be a test body? Because I'm a little sweaty and I don't want to... Okay, cool. Or maybe the both of you can do it, right? Okay, so, uh, all right. So, okay, you guys, uh, so you're going to be right here. You're going to be right here. Oh, uh, f facing me, facing me. So, uh, when I say drop your level, all you're going to do is you're going to see how your feet are kind of like shoulder width apart you're going to open your feet into like a squat position and you're going to drop your weight down and you're going to be kind of like in a quarter squat position all right so when i say drop your level you're going to it's going to be explosive right so it's going to be here and then it's going to be drop your level drop your level and you're going to go boom all right okay are you ready sure okay all right ready three two and then you're going to hold the position until i say stop ready drop your level go yeah solid solid oh no hold it hold the position I'm gonna try to push you, but you're but you're but you're good. Okay, that's solid, solid. Boom. Okay, back up, back up, back back. Like just like just, yeah, bring. Okay, relax, relax. You're walking to your car. Drop your level. Go. Nice. Good. Back up. Sorry, I know. Ready? Drop your level. Go. Good. Okay, back up. So now, very good, very good, man. Everyone, yeah, they 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 have the technique down. We're gonna drop your level, and then when I point to the direction, you're gonna drop your level, and then you're gonna lean towards that side. Okay? Real, real easy, real easy. Whoa. No, you're getting a workout. I was gonna turn on the fan for you. Okay, ready? Drop your level, go. Lean. There you go. Yeah, just, just bend that knee slightly. Perfect. Back up. Drop your level, go. Lean. Good. Back up. Okay, is everything okay? Drop your level, go. Lean. Back up. Yeah, drop your level, go, lean. Good, okay, relax. Okay, so how, how, how we're gonna do this is, uh, sis, yeah, sis, can you hold the, can you hold the, hold the microphone? Sorry. Or, or, or actually, Julius, could you yeah. hold the microphone? Okay, so, uh, and so I need you to turn face, face away from me. So from this position in, in the event, that someone's grabbing your purse or someone's grabbing your hand. And I like to teach this not only for women's self-defense, but also for like kids' stranger danger, because it's such a, it's really when you drop your level, you're just dropping your weight so that you're harder, you're harder to move around, you know? And it's just a little body awareness, right? And body mechanics. So when, so Sabino, when I come and I grab an arm, 
all you're gonna do is you're gonna drop your level and you're gonna lean to the opposite side of where I'm pulling, you know? So I'm coming here, she's walking, she's walking, I'm coming around. I grab your hand, drop your level. Okay, relax, yeah. okay, see, okay, so, I'm 100, I'm 180 pounds right now. I'm a pro MMA fighter and I had a hard time just pulling her, right? So she had her purse, if I was trying to grab her hand, one more time, so now just walk out. So this is this is a this is a really good drill. This is a really good drill and a really good awareness tip. And this is good confidence, right? Okay, go ahead and walk. Just walk. Hey. And then so now when when in the event that something happens, I mean we're not gonna do it now, right? But you have to call out for help. Uh, okay. for for kids, I always we always tell them say, fire, fire, because when you say fire and you say yell it loud. Whoever's around them, like, oh, they're gonna be looking around or help, help, help. So always be aware to and and don't don't be scared and don't feel mamala to just say that, you know. So we'll try it again. <laughs> drop your level! Drop your level! Yeah. <laughs> so so no so she, so exactly what you did. So what you did was she dropped her level. I. I yanked her, I yanked her, but she re-dropped her level again and she re-leaned, you know? So uh, try not to fall to the ground, okay. please. But stay. So you always want to stay in, a, I like to say, in the running position, you know? So you drop your level, you boom. If you're somehow able to get your emergency look, I'm in a running, sprinting position to get away. Because self-defense, you're not going to go out there and you're not going to fight 30 guys with all your stuff. No, man, you're getting away to safety, you know? Okay, we'll try that one more time. Position, but no, no, but yeah, but she was in a position to get away, and that split second, you know. But but see, at least now you know to drop your level and lean because now it's body mechanics, man. The, the guy could be the guy could be 30, 40 pounds, 100 pounds heavier than you, or stronger than you. But it just takes that split second to be able to to, to address it, get away, and let everyone know that what's going on, you know. Right. So yeah, drop your level, it's lean. Important. It's important to know these things, especially with what's going on you know, around Absolutely, today. Yeah. Man, I think I'm gonna have a bruise, dude. I'm so sorry. No, no, it's good, it's good. But just like anything else, with all the, the techniques that he trains in for a fight, for something like this, women's self-defense, getting that awareness so yeah. that, you know, cause you already started to pick that up, you were starting to drop your level. Mm -hmm. Like he said, when you kind of forgot it, you redropped. Mm -hmm. You gotta keep drilling this over and over and over again. Well, Frank, I wanna thank you so much for joining us this morning. Sabrina, good job. Thank you. Right on. We want to thank you all for joining us. This is Friday's Fit AF. I'm Julius Cesar Santos. Until next time, we out.